Hey, we're back with Jamie Adam. We're gonna to talk today about stability and that first movement in the sweet sequence we showed you last week, the rip press. Now, stability, the stability principle has to do with one's basis support relative to their center of gravity. So, Jamie's got a narrow basis support, a high center of gravity, it's pretty easy to push him over. If I want him to avoid that or resist that, what are you gonna do? Good, widen his basis support, lower his center of gravity, much harder to dis disrupt his balance. So we're gonna use this principle, the stability principle, while we're rip training. Remember the first exercise in that sequence was the rip press. So what I'm gonna do is change the foot position a little bit on the rip press today, and I'm gonna have Jamie take a very narrow base of support, okay? He's facing away from the anchor, palms still in the mid zone level, ears, shoulders, hips lined up, narrow base of support, come on, feet together, there you go. Now pressing out. Three reps, and then an isometric hold. You feel how much harder this is, Jamie, on your core stabilizers? He's even getting a little bit of balance and proprioception in this drill. Focus more on core strength, stability patterns, a little bit less on athleticism and, and explosive dynamic movements. Now, if we want to make this a little different, we want to change his stability, I'm going to have him widen his base of support and offset his stance, so right foot back. Now, I want explosive, powerful movements. Good, and hold. He's got that target. Good, pause. There you go. Still demonstrating uh, ears, shoulders, and hips aligned, proximal stability. I didn't say to stop, go, go. Ears, shoulders, and hips lined up, proximal stability, and we're getting equal weight distribution from the front to the rear leg. Good, rest. There's a couple ways to modify your stability and base of support to make the exercises a little different, focusing on either core stabilization or more athletic, powerful movement patterns. Stay tuned for next week, we're gonna talk about the vector resistance principle and the rip pitch fork.